Before I walk you through the experiment itself and show you some of the chemicals, what we're dealing with here is we have an equilibrium mixture where we have two different cobalt complexes. One where the cobalt is complexed by water, the other where it's complexed by chloride. And of course, since there's different ligands, that's going to affect the light absorption. So one of these complexes is a pink color. Uh, when it's surrounded by water, it's the ligand. And when it's surrounded by chloride ions, the ligand actually turns to blue. So what I have here is I have an equilibrium mixture where I actually have both of these present in appreciable quantities. And so instead of a pink or a blue color, you're looking at a kind of purplish color. What we're then going to do is we're going to show some of the Chatelier principle demonstrations where we're going to add to this mixture that has some of the blue and some of the pink, we're going to add various features to this, to this reaction. So in the first one, we're going to add calcium chloride, which is a source of chloride ions. The second one, we're going to add water, which is a source of water. The third, we're going to add silver nitrate, which is going to remove chloride ions. And the fourth, we're going to add acetone. We're going to add acetone that's going to remove water. The fifth, we're going to add energy, thermal energy to this. We're going to raise the temperature of it. And in the sixth, we're going to reduce the temperature of it. And so what you should be able to do is you should be able to look at this reaction right now and predict which way this will shift. And it's easy to identify because it's going to shift to the left. We're going to produce a pink complex more so than the blue. So the purple is going to become pink. If we shift to the right, we're going to produce a blue complex and our solutions will turn blue. So if you want to go ahead and make the predictions now, I'm going to go ahead and then draw you over and we're going to look at what actually happens when I do these four different things. So here we have five solutions set up. So I'm going to do the first four. We're going to add calcium chloride. We're going to add water. We're going to add silver nitrate. We're going to add acetone. And then I have a fifth here so we can compare the color after we're done. So in our first test tube here, I'm going to put some calcium chloride in there. That's a source of chloride ions, so that's going to cause an increase in the chloride concentration, which is going to cause a decrease in Q. It's going to speed up my forward reaction, and so I'm going to build up more product, which in this case involves the blue cobalt chloride complex. So as this mixes, you're going to see this kind of go through the purple, and then it's going to go to a blue, and especially at the bottom there. Now, it's going to take some time for that to dissolve. So while that's dissolving, we're going to the second one. The second one, we're going to add water. So if we add water, that should increase the reverse direction reaction rate. So we're increasing Q. And we can then take, and then that should form a pink complex. And so you'll note the distinct color change from, the, from here to here, where this is now fully the pink instead of the mixture of pink and blue that we started with. And at the bottom of this, you can definitely see kind of that blue color starting to fade out into the rest of the mix. So we'll continue trying to get that to dissolve. And the third one, we're going to add silver nitrate. And silver nitrate is expensive, so we're just going to go with a little bit here. So we might not see a full great color change here, but we'll do our best. Silver nitrate should remove the chloride ions. So removing the chloride ions is going to cause the reactant concentration to go down. That's going to make Q go up. So we're going to shift to the left to replace those missing chloride ions and we're going to turn pink. That's how that should go. Let's go ahead and take a look here. This one is usually a little bit of trouble with some solubility issues as well as others. So, so far not giving a huge distinguishment. The next one should be a little clearer. We'll let those go. So acetone will remove the water. Um, obviously water in this case in the liquid state, so it should not affect our equilibrium amounts. But given the fact that it's part of the complex, it's probably more about reducing the chloride. We'll see the here adding the acetone to it. It's going to negate the ability to form that water complex, and we're going to go from purple to blue. So adding extra chloride, we're getting the blue complex. Adding extra water causes the pink. Removing chloride causes the pink, and removing water causes the blue and we can compare those to this. So even at this point, 
I'm not getting a huge difference here. This is the one with silver nitrate added. Um, so they are definitely, you know, although maybe barely you can see that the little bit more of the pink is forming in there. In the other. But here we can definitely see the difference. This is now blue compared to the pink. Compared to the purple. Pink compared to the purple. And very much so blue compared to the purple. So for the final two, we're going to change the temperature. Um, and so I've got three purple cobalt chloride complex mixtures and or cobalt water complex mixtures. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one. I'm going to put one into ice water, and I'm going to put the other one into very warm water. Okay. Now might not be able to get quite the color change that we're seeing here where we're going to clearly a pink, clearly a blue from the purple. But, but we're going to hold on to this one so that we can see hopefully some of the change. So for the purple, going into the hot water, what's happening is we are adding energy to this. So for Le Chatelier, of course, we can, we can do a simple way to get the answer. We can pretend like heat is a substance we are adding heat to it and therefore we're going to see a shift to the right and we're going to turn blue. Uh, that's not actually what's happening. What's actually happening is we are changing the rates uh, by increasing the amount of, of each chemical during the collision with sufficient activation energy to, to uh, cause, cause that reaction to happen. It impacts the rates unequally and so it's going to influence the forward rate more than the reverse and because that one was slower uh, and so then that's going to cause uh, that to kind of catch up a little bit and that's going to give us a shift. So we can clearly see the blue color here compared to the purple. Make sure we can see that. So this is the one that is now warm. This is the one that is still at regular temperature. And then we're going to add our ice water mix. Actually, it looks like we're getting a really good set of colors here. So we've got our blue, our pink, and our purple in the middle. So we've got cold and hot and room temperature in the, meat, in the middle. So finally we can come back here. Um, when we added calcium chloride, our first test tube, we had an increase in concentration of this. Our Q went down. Q had to increase to get back to K. And so our mixture turned blue, indicating we're forming more product or a shift to the right. And when we added water, so the opposite occur. So this turned pink. So we formed more of the water complex, which uh, saw its shift to the left. Um, whether that's due to the chloride concentration decreasing or the actual water itself participating in the reaction, I don't know. Um, so I know that water usually gets left out of equilibrium situations because water is a liquid, and so its concentration really is not change much. Uh, to make this mixture, though, I used ethanol. Uh, to dissolve the cobalt chloride, so it wasn't an aqueous solution to begin that may affect it. Adding the silver nitrate that removes chloride, so that's going to cause uh, Q to go up. We need it to shift back to the left, so that turned pink a little. We had acetone, and that caused it to turn blue it's due to a shift to the right as we removed the water. Uh, more of that cobalt with water complex returned to the chloride. And finally, the heating and cooling. When we added energy, we added thermal energy to this, uh, we saw a shift to the right. So the warm one turned blue. And when we cooled it, we saw a shift to the left. Turn. So hopefully that clarifies what the actual word shift itself means in context of Le Chatelier's, uh, and also a little bit of context into how to go about making predictions and confirming those predictions uh, in this case was quite simple.